So during World War II, a bunch of Germans were in the And they were captured. Two or four of them were cannibalized. Good morning, World Branch. I'm Justin, and this is the morning news for Wednesday, October 13th. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now join me for a moment of silence. Please be seated. And here is Today in History. Today in 1792, the cornerstone was laid for the White House in Washington, D.C. The city of Washington was created to replace Philadelphia as the nation's capital, and work began in 1791. In 1800, John Adams became the first president to live in the White House. Good morning, Well Branch. I'm Carrington, and here is today's birthday. Happy birthday to Tanaya Brown. Did you know that you can take the SCT and the ACT at our school on Saturdays? See Ms. Sheila Austin or your school counselor for information on signing up. Teachers, please remind students that they need to be adhering to school uniform requirements. Administration will be beginning uniform sweeps. Students, have you completed your online school enrollment? Please remind your parents to make sure that they have completed the online registration. And here is Anisha with weather. Thank you, Denisha. Thanks, Justin. Hi, I'm Danisha, and here's today's weather. Today we will see mainly sunny skies. The high will be near 84 and a low of 64 with light winds. The rest of the week is looking partly cloudy with a low chance of rain, mid to upper 80s, and scattered sunshine. A cold front will move in on Sunday, and you can expect temperatures in the upper 70s next week. That's the weather. Back to you, Justin. Students, just a reminder that the first grading period ends on October 18th. And don't forget, next Monday will be a half day. Boys basketball is holding preseason workouts on Mondays and Wednesdays this month. Trials for all non-football players will begin on November 1st. Are you a freshman? Are you interested in student government? If so, see Ms. Perez in room C-122 for details. School day SAT for seniors in PSAT testing is today in the Media Center. And the school day ACT makeups for seniors who missed testing on October 5th will be to on Tuesday, October 19th in the Media Center. And here is Jose with sports. Good morning, Will Branch. I'm Jose and here's today's, th this is week sports. JV and varsity volleyball will finish their season away against Allendale on Thursday. Cross country is off this week, but varsity football will play, no, football team will play still away on Friday. That's it for sports. Good luck to all our student athletes. Back to you, Justin. Thank you, Jose. Cyber Patriot Club members are reminded of their meeting today in room C-103. Host officers are reminded of their meeting tomorrow in Ms. Ferguson's classroom. This meeting is for officers only and all of the members who report to the third period RTI. There will be a Halloween showcase performance on Friday, October 22nd. Both the band and dance will be performing. The performance will take place during second period from 1045 to 1130. Ladies First and National Honor Society is sponsoring a pop-top food drive from now until October 29th. Drop off your pop-top cans or box foods or non-perishable food items in the Pink Tote and Media Center and help us families in this need Thanksgiving. Attention teachers, just a reminder that AccuPlacer testing will take place in the TCL office today, tomorrow, and on Friday. That's the news for October 13th. Don't forget Gene Day is on Friday. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Well Branch. branch. Yeah.